Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to give my gratitude to all of you. I am very blessed to give SP very the heavenly uniform for our face based organization. Firstly, I want to appreciate UPF IAPD for organizing this conference and inviting me to participate in it on December 12, 2020. I want to contribute to the perspective and very the unifying for our peace. In this uh, Interreligious Association of Peace and Diplomacy Westerners Conference, as we know, time has been the change a lot. Culture, human thoughts, philosophy, religions, faith, and the practice. We want to get a good message that can give the ways of the lives to the humanity in modern, sophisticated world. Today, the nations of the world face many problems, especially in the areas of the human security and peace. After World War II, nations agreed to create the United Nations to establish peace and solidarity amongst the different nations to avoid war, terror, aggression, and invasion. But unfortunately, such a noble objective has not become true. As many parts of the world still continue terrible war, territorial dispute, religions, ethnic and political conflicts, etc. Well. Because of this unfortunate situation, peace loving people, including political and religious leaders, look for the urgent and effective solution to establish peace for the planet. According to the, our Buddhism, Conflicts, intolerance, and disharmony arise out of the desire, hatred, and ignorance. To develop the confidence, tolerance, and the harmony, it is extremely important to the cultivate common values of the universal ethics. Therefore, promotions of the education, dialogue, social, and economic development would lead to the sustainable development of the peace in the world. The Buddhas are welcome teachers of other religions, but they never attempt to combat the enemies of the arts and anyone to change their belief. Traditions of tolerance, traditions of the teacher, in this regard, we find the evidence throughout the Pali canons, where the Vandali ascetics, Sophet, and the philosopher come to meet the Buddha and discuss or exchange their different views concerning the ways of the spiritual practice and the liberation. Today, it has begun an urgent and necessary to provide the venues to build the world peace through the understanding the different cultures and religions because the cause of the religions and ethnic conflicts in the world today has their root in the misunderstanding religious beliefs and misinterpretations of the scriptures. Therefore, it is important to apply the wisdom of the Buddha to extend the understanding through the leading the religious beliefs of the other. Through the direct context and the dialogue, this approach in the modern world requires a tolerance and a deeper understanding that all religions may have a common ground on which spread could be based to the established truth and acceptance, and therefore peace and harmony. United Nations Educational Scientists and the Cultural Organization, UNESCO, as it one of the sixty first sessions of the Escadis Board in 2001, is minded its solutions in the dialogue among the civilization which stay as follows. Only dialogues are involved. The dialogues of the peace is very much in the cultural dialogue as well. Many nations and the peoples now have memories of the history, grievance, and the cultural slight. Dialogue allow being this clear into the open, where they may be assessed with a full intellectual honesty and deep concern. For one another, the merits only then can pass around be finally laid to rest. Kachara dialogue does have dispelled the gems of the war, so the seeds of the peace and any chance for the lasting, harmonious development. UNESCO is one of the world forums for such dialogue. The dialogue that foster is predicated upon the universal acceptance 
and observance of basis of human rights as enshrined by the Universal Declaration of 1948, to which all the organization members are committed. Within the Bose Memorial Framework, each culture knows that the voice is a heart waiting to respect it. Our law builder, with his great compassion for the war, Rokanya is a follower to practice the force of boundless state, love, kindness, compassion, sympathy, joy, and equanimity, Mita Gruna Murita. This practice of Mita or universal love began by Subjuses one own mind with the universal love and then prepare it to one's family, then to the neighbor, to the village, country, and the outer regions of the universe. The concept of the just society is unthinkable today in our modern world and third and unless the people reduce their unlimited desire, hatred, and ignorance. A just society may be established in the world. When the nations and the rulers of the world store the fabrications of the arm or some mass destruction and use the words for mass construction through the social development and eliminations of the social injustice. The international community has recognized that social inequality leads to identity and political violence. That in other forms of the crime resolution was and the terrorism in general has a root cause in imbalance or world discrimination, political power, educational and professional opportunities. The voters use extremely poverty as a cause of the violence. In my conclusion, it is important to note that the voter struggles was to establish a society where all human beings could live with their dignity and respect of their birth, caste, class, set in their religion. Therefore, the Buddha repeatedly stood again an equal treatment of the human being. He wanted a society free from violence, discrimination of the ethnic, and with the religions and the professional opportunity. His visions for the society which uh, exists in the 6th century before the Christian era, is the place of, to our modern society in the modern world. Whether deliberately to the unknowingly, the United Nations is uh, focused ahead with its uh, noble mission to work for the betterment of the humanity. With the same things and the same solution, thus the conventional Buddha throws out during the his time 2,500 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, in our daily life, we need the one love and the kind heart to have the sense of the trust and everlasting the relation. Nobody is white, nobody is the stupid. But the Korean right as the crazy. Affectionate love must be the blow. Selfishness should be the abandon to happily and harmoniously live with everyone in the same planet. Thank you so much for your pay attention, my dear and brother.